The Houston Ballet's Nutcracker is a timeless classic, and even though it is hot outside right now, getting the best seats for this family favorite requires a bit of planning ahead. It's never too early to book your seats to this iconic show. And joining us now is Elizabeth Cleveland with the Houston Ballet. Okay, so it's hot outside, but you really should take advantage of what getting a little bit of a lower price if you buy your Nutcracker tickets now. Yes, yes. We, we really want to drive home that message of start your holiday planning now. Now is the best time to buy to get the, your, the best price, the best seats for the best price. So we, we want everyone to, to buy early and start now. Exactly. Don't wait. Don't yes. procrastinate. Right. So, and you guys are staging this. This is a newer production yes. of the Nutcracker. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it because this is such a classic, but you want to keep it fresh, right? Right, right. So last year in 2016 was the world premiere year where we premiered this brand new production by Stanton Welch, who's artistic director. And it was, it's been a long, long, several year process to, to get us to this point. So that was our, our premiere year and now we're in year two. So it's still a very new production. Obviously not, not everyone got to see it last year. Um, and we're hoping, the idea is that this will be our new Nutcracker cracker for years and years to come and um, that's why you know we're we're really focusing on how the, the you know the spectacle of it and how all of the costumes you'll see are brand new all of the choreography is 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 brand new and um, we're we're just really excited to start what we call you know the, a new holiday tradition and speaking, speaking of, of costumes, costumes. <laughs> yes. I'm like I'm yeah, blinded sure by the light over there. here yes, you know yes. it is so pretty I, I mean, I'm just intrigued with how intricate this is the what the sugar plum fairy yes sugar plum fairy that appears in the land of sweets and um, th this is one of, of 282 different costumes that are on stage in this wow. production. And the, the level of detail, there was no detail left unthought of when creating this, this production. And that's, what's so, that's what is so apparent when you watch the show, is that the, there are so many things to see and so many details to really take in. And the color of this particular costume is one of my favorites and uh, it's yeah, from just, the burgundy to the light pink yeah There's yeah there's the just a lot of thought and the designer is uh, named Tim Goodchild and he's out of he's out of uh, he's a, a British designer that is so talented and worked with Stanton really closely on this for several years and our, our wardrobe department and our production department are just absolute pros and we got the best of the best of, of, cr of the creation of this I can so, see that it's yeah. beautiful to see up close well most of the Houston Ballet dancers are getting a much needed vacation right now. We'll be back very soon. Uh, but we had our Stephanie Gonzalez chat with a few of the principal dancers about all of the beautiful costumes. Take a look. With the arm and the leg, developpe up the leg. So it just goes through that position and extends at the same time. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Over 1,000 yards of net have been used to create new tutus, skirts, and petticoats for the casts. I think that definitely the audience will be taken by the beauty of the costumes. They're really magical. We have our own wardrobe department downstairs, and they are working overtime. Yeah. We have costumes coming in and sets built from all over the country. British designer Tim Goodchild designed the sets for the production. Everything you see on stage could basically be a movie set. Elizabeth, it's like a, a, a whole huge team of people doing these costumes. It really is. It takes a village. I, it, it's not, you know, it's not one person. It is truly a collaboration of everybody's talents, you know, from the vision to the execution to the repair and the alterations. And is it true that just the creation, sorry to jump in and interrupt Elizabeth, but did it really take the span of two years just for the creation process of these yeah, costumes? it did. It did. It started with a vision and then just, oh, it, just with taking the time to really get the, for the, the quantity and the, the, to get the quantity and the quality essentially of all of the different costumes, the characters, and then just the overall production value, it, it does take a long time. And it's so many people are involved and it takes a lot of trips from, you know, going out to see a designer, going out to pick fabrics, going out to really uh, hone in on the detail that's envisioned and refine it and then come to that final product. So it's pretty the extraordinary. The Nutcracker can be a first ballet for a lot of folks. 
folks. And whether you're that newbie first timer or you're a seasoned veteran and you see it year after year, let's get folks a skinny on when the dates are for the actual showing of the Nutcracker. So this year, uh, Nutcracker is November 24th through December 28th, and it's we always open the day after Thanksgiving. So that's our starting point, and we go through through Christmas time. And tickets start at $25, and to learn more about that, you can just go to HoustonBallet.org, correct? That's right. Awesome. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Can't wait to see you at the show. And again, that website is just HoustonBallet.org if you would like tickets or to learn more. And there's much more Houston life right after this. Cool. Awesome. Thanks.